That's why it's so important to understand. You will fight the way you train. It's very important to understand. And this goes on three levels. So if you only ever train easy, never with a lot of power, a lot of speed, then you will fight with lack of power and lack of speed. If you train without resistance, then you are not used to an actual fight. If you only ever know what will happen in your training, if you don't spar, you're not actually prepared for a fight. And the third part is technical. So when you only ever train wrestling, you will wrestle. When you train boxing, you will box. Especially in the fight, when the stress level is high, you will fall back to your training. It's an illusion if you think, oh, if you remove the rules, then I will do this and that. No, you won't. You train yourself to do the things that you do in training. And the better and more effective your training was and the higher your level is, the more likely you are to do exactly what you have trained to do. And the less likely you are to do anything else. So if you are a very high level boxer, the more likely you are to only ever exclusively box. Even if you are allowed to kick, why should you? If you are allowed to wrestle, why should you? Why should you do something that you have never trained? And if you are a wrestler, if you are a high level wrestle, wrestler, you will trust your wrestling. You will wrestle. Why should you box if you've never trained it? Why should you kick if you've never trained it? You will wrestle. And yes, that is more true the higher your level is.